Yo, how's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. It's been a couple of weeks since I last released one of these. Team of the Season has just been absolutely crazy and I haven't actually had the time to make one of these videos. They've taken a whole lot of editing, but I was told by a couple of the YouTubers a few cool ways to try and make this series without the enhanced editing that I actually put into these. Because these episodes took literally seven to eight hours to edit because I had to manually make all the cards and put them onto the screen it was a very difficult process and uh, sadly it just wasn't something that I can fit into my time uh, along with Team of the Season videos which is you know the main priority in my opinion on the channel. Anyway enough waffling from me let's get straight into this. Now the first thing I want to say if you want to be featured here is the most important thing. When you tweet me your team you have to put in hashtag it's Haber into your into your tweet basically um if you want to know how to screenshot and tweet uh anything from xbox or playstation there is a link in the bottom of the description go check those out so you guys get a tutorial on how to screenshot i cannot accept any phone screenshots i cannot accept any web app screenshots uh sadly they're just not good enough resolution to look at on here i need 1920 by 1080 perfect screenshots from your console only and put hashtag it's haber because i can't find them otherwise i can't find them on twitter otherwise unless you put hashtag it's haber uh regardless Let's get into this uh, and when you do tweet me your teams, please include the formation you play in game If it's not the one that you got on the screen include how many coins you have who's tradable and untradeable and You know just basically include that information the formation you play in game where people play uh, the amount of coins you have People tradable slash untradeable. I think that's all the information. Anyway, let's get into the teams. So, like I said, we're doing this slightly differently. As you see, I've got hashtag it's Haber over here on um, on the the search bar here. Uh, so, what we have over here, first of all, is Jamie Carey's team. Now, he does follow me on Twitter. That is one of the requirements to, uh, to actually get your team shown. Now, he says he has 120,000 coins. His De Bruyne, his team of season Rafa, his Hummels, and his Pulisic are tradable and he changes to a 4-3-3 attack in game with Brandt at cam, uh, De Bruyne right centre mid, Fernandinho left centre mid and I'm guessing the, the attack force stays exactly the same. Now let me enhance the tweet so you guys can see the team. Uh, this is the team that he's rocking with and it is a nice team. Um, he's playing Pulisic off chemistry, he's playing De Bruyne off chemistry, he's playing Lukaku off chemistry and Hummels off chemistry and Team of Season Summer off chemistry. A lot of plays off chemistry. I'm not entirely sure I like that. Now, the way we've decided that I think would be a really cool way to do these videos from now on, let me know down below if you prefer this to the other system or whether you would like the other system, is what I'm going to do now is switch to my console and show you guys a pre-built squad that I think you should change to. Now, if we quickly go ahead and switch over to my console, this is what I've done. Now, I think you should sell Pulisic. First of all, I think Pulisic should go. Sell Rafa. I think Rafa should not be in the team either. I know he's got a lot of pace. Uh, I just don't think he's good enough for the wing. Uh, Jao Felix, bring him to the bench. I think you should start... Play the month, Lucas, as you have on the bench. I think you should start him at right wing. I think at left wing, go for the best version of Felipe Anderson you can afford. At left centre back, go for the best version of Laporta you can afford. And at goalkeeper, go with Manuel Neuer. In my opinion, the, the purchases you, you should focus on straight away uh, would be uh, Neuer, then Laporte, and then go for the best version of the left wing and striker that you guys can afford. Now, the best thing about this is that you're only playing one player off chemistry, and that is Lucas, which in my opinion is decent off chemistry. And you get to start in the 4-3-3-4, which makes kickoff more comfortable for you. Uh, and you can utilize possibly one of the most broken mechanics in the game, which is the kickoff boost. I personally prefer to start in the formation that I intend to play the whole game out in and the team that I, sorry, the formation I am most comfortable in uh, because I just prefer to play a more comfortable uh, selection of my team on kickoff. I just think the best way to utilize kickoff is by playing how your team sets up in game. You don't want, for example, Fernandinho running up for you. You don't want, for example, uh, anyone running up that you don't want up there. Uh, you want to go with the front three and then you want your, obviously you want your cam and your center mids to be in the right positions and whatnot. So that, in my opinion, is probably the best way. Um, and hey, GG, by the way, on your untradeable brand, untradeable Fernandinho. They are two incredible pools. I am very, very jealous. Very nice. And your 95 Kimmich. But get rid of Lukaku at centre-back. He is absolutely abysmal at centre-back. No matter what you boost, he won't have the stats that he has on his base card. Uh, the base card stats actually boost the worst stats possible um, for his defensive stats. You want better marking 
You want better interceptions, you want better tackling, uh, and he just doesn't bring what his base card stats seem to bring to the table. In my opinion, uh, definitely go for maybe a Laporte there or someone that can get chemistry. I would straight away bin off Lukaku though. Just not worth it. Not the player you want there, honestly. He will just bring you destruction and pain. Worst case scenario, get a Rudiger there. I would prefer Rudiger at centre-back, honestly. The second team is from Sam Skinner, who's actually wrote a huge message out, which I'm very, very grateful for. He said he's got 300k at the moment, could maybe have 500k soon, hopefully for FIFA points. He's got Varane, Lala and Martial as the only tradable players in the entire team. He plays the same formation in-game and loses videos. Yeah, I appreciate it, Sam. you absolute legend. Now, let's have a look at the team in a better quality. Now, looking at this team, it looks very, very strong and there's... Not a whole lot I would change, if anything at all, really. I would personally make one change to your team, my friend, and that change would be to go with Baby Desai instead of Varane. Now, that gets everybody on chemistry. That is the main priority, in my opinion. I do like Varane in this game, but Baby Desai is great, and also you have the opportunity to then grind up towards his prime, or maybe even prime like on moments if you get more coins, if you spend more thief points, etc. Aside from that, I think it's a very, very nice team. I'm interested to hear what you think of Pires up top with Benzema. If you can grind towards Benzema team of the season, obviously that would be a great thing to do. Um, if not, possibly even grinding towards maybe a team of the season, uh, Usmane Dem. Bele or a team of the season, Ben Yedder, anything like that for your centre mid or left mid spot might be a great shout too. Uh, but no, let me know how they them two are up top. I am interested to hear your opinions on those. Uh, that Rabio looks like a decent card. Didn't do it, but you know, it's something that I regret. I think that is a definitely a good card. So uh, let me know how you get on with that. And uh, I'd love to hear how you finish in Weekend League as well. Next up is Lucas on Twitter, who of course follows me. I'm very grateful for that. He says he has got all incredible team with Witzel subbed on his right back, changes to a 4 2 in game with Orba and Figo as strikers, and he's about 150,000 coins. What changes would I make? Well, first of all, your team of the season look is absolutely insane. You've got Witzel, Robertson, and Bamiyang and tradable. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is absolutely insane. You are very, very lucky, my friend. GG on that. Uh, there is a couple of changes that I would personally make uh, that I'll get to in just a second. But overall, it's a nice team. And, uh, and let me know how that Aubameyang plays for you. I used that card a few times and it's absolutely unreal. One of the best strikers I have used undoubtedly in this game. And I would love to hear your record with him and how you get on with him at striker. But these are the changes that I would personally make to your team, sir. Now, this is the team that I would personally use in game if I were you. Now, obviously, start your Lewandowski at right centre mid and he gets full chemistry. Because um, he gets the, the green link to your scream, Rafinha, that you were starting at right mid. Uh, sorry, right back even. Um, now, I would personally play Lewandowski up top with Aubameyang. Because Lewandowski is a very strong striker for 150,000 coins you won't find a whole lot of very good strikers around Lewandowski's sort of play side so he's got four star skill moves a fantastic shot he can win headers he's strong he's not slow uh, he's a very very good striker in my opinion even at this point in the game and if you can grind towards a better version of him obviously go for the better version um, I would personally play Figo at camp he'd be better for crossing he'd be better for playing overall as a camp as opposed to a striker uh, in terms of his like in games and whatnot um, he's got decent stats but 89 finishing at striker in my opinion is not enough as well as 87 composure um whereas at cam uh, as you see you can utilize the 90 crossing with a chem style even better um you can utilize his passing as well 90 short passing and 85 long passing is incredible in my opinion i think that you'd be much better or he'd sorry he'd be much better suited to right cam um but overall this is a team i'd go for your look is absolutely crazy, man. I can't get over your incredible look in in Team of the Season packs. It's mental. It is the best I think I've ever seen. GG. The last team we're about to get into, first of all, you may have noticed 5.30 in the morning when recording this, mainly because the weather in the UK right now is ridiculously hot. It's so hot and unbearable. So if I was to record this during the, the afternoon or evening, I would, with my two studio lights be beaming down on me, I think I just spontaneously combust. So I thought instead I would definitely just record this late, late at night slash early morning where it's nice and cool. I've let some cool air come through my window and it's just a lot easier to record. Now, uh, before we end the video with the last team, I would like to mention if you want your team featured, uh, make sure you tweet me a screenshot from your console with the hashtag it's Haber and make sure you're following. Link in the description for a tutorial for both consoles. Uh, make sure you are, you do that because that is, that is the most important part that you use a hashtag it's Haber. Uh, 
Um, there is a lot of teams, so I'm going to get through as many as I can. And I might start doing these on my second channel if we want to get through more, just so you guys can get your teams reviewed and whatnot. And I do stream on Twitch where I review teams of subscribers. So if you do want to subscribe on Twitch, you can go and have your team reviewed when I am streaming. So make sure you check that out. Link in the description. Um, massive thank you for your support on this series. Let me know if this style is better as well. If you like the concept squad style better than the other squad, uh, other style, sorry, let me know in the comments down below. Let's jump into the last one. It's from Aiden2003, who does follow me on Twitter. And he said, this is my team. He's got Mbappe, Sane, Munia, and Tradable, and Haustenberg and Tradable. He plays a 4 2 3 with Kante, Munia, and CDM, with De Bruyne in camp and Aguero up top. And he has 150,000 coins that he's using to save four foot future stars up a Menko. Now, it seems like you've got it figured out. It seems like you have got an idea, you're, you're down with the idea, and you've got it figured out. So fair play to you. You've got this idea. You've got it figured out. Uh, there's not a whole lot that I can do to change your mind, in my opinion. Uh, I would love to know how you do. Um, in my opinion, uh, the, that is definitely the first place I'd start in terms of grading. I'd maybe go for UCL Kimpembe over Upamenko. He'll definitely get full chemistry, um, as opposed to Upamenko getting, I think, seven chemistry. Uh, you've got a lot of plays off chem. We do have a lot of plays off chem. In fact, that would be the only play you have off chem. Uh, that is the only play you have off chem right now, sorry. So um, I do apologize. That is a mistake. Um, but you don't want a lot of plays off chem, especially in the defense, because when poor, poor gameplay comes along, I feel like the players off chem just... They, they play even worse off chemistry. But that is it for this video. Uh, I am not going to show you any update, updates I would do to this squad because you already know. Uh, but if you have enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you didn't get your squad uh, showed, these are so many squads you guys have, uh, have sent to me. Um, I will be trying to get through a load of them on stream, on Twitter, etc, uh, etc. Et so make sure you keep sending them to me. If you don't get it shared out, send them again to me with the hashtag it's Haber. Um, keep sending them to me throughout the week. I'll try and get one of these out every single Sunday if I possibly can. Thank you for the support and I'll see you later. Later.